What's up, folks? We got Coffee Walk Talks Driving Edition today. This is B Coffee Roasters Cold Brew. I thought it was Nitro Cold Brew. Turns out it's not. Um, it's just cold brew out of a keg. But anyways, here we go. One sip. Everybody knows the rules. Uh, I give that a 5.9 out of 10. Um, by the way, folks, yes, I am driving. It's okay. Um, there's actually been, I guess there's been studies that show when you're talking on the phone in the car, it's pretty much the exact same as if you're just driving and not talking on the phone. So the safety concerns, you don't have to, con you don't have to be concerned. Uh, but anyways, not the topic of this conversation here today. The topic is customer service. So I found myself on the phone this morning on hold with a company I won't mention. And while I'm on hold, I'm on hold way longer than they said I would be on hold and way longer than I wanted to be on hold. But as I'm on hold, you have the the automated voice message that just continues, 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 and it drives you crazy. And the contents of this message were simply, we can't be with you right now because we value and pride ourselves in customer service, so we are giving our full attention to other customers on call. And I just thought to myself, what a, what a load of shit. Um, you don't... Customers, you don't tell people you have great customer service or that you value or pride yourself in customer service. You, customer service is just simply the result of your actions of actually providing quality customer service. So typically the, the businesses that say they value customer service or say they um, have great customer service typically do not have great customer service. So what what does what does it take to have great customer service and the reality is it's obviously your interactions with the customers or the people who buy the people that buy your products um it the reality is that it's not about you obviously but it's also not all about the customer either which is why the phrase whoever coined this um the customer is always right is a bunch of bullshit so what customer service is, is it's it's win-win. And I believe Stephen Covey was the, might have been the first person that actually um, kind of brought the, kind of this idea of win-win to life. And what win-win is, is you're looking for a win for the other person, AKA the customer, and also a win for you. So you can't only value the customer's opinion because then you start to lose integrity with yourself your your business mission um, and the values you kind of hold within yourself and the business. So if you always just look for a win of the customer, you would lose integrity and you would lose value within yourself as well. Now, if you only think of, man, I think I'm in the ghetto right now. If you only think about winning yourself, so win-lose, that is, um, you're essentially being selfish and you're probably not providing much value at all at this time so if you're only thinking about yourself you come across as selfish people might not might, might not like you as a person they might not like you as a professional they might not enjoy um, your business and want to buy any products from you in the future but when we think of win-win how can we serve the customer how can we serve the other person and also how that reflects our values our integrity as a person, our integrity as a business, then both sides on the so-called transaction are both benefiting. And holy shit, I am definitely in the ghetto right now. I went out of my way to get me some cold brew and I have no idea where, I'm at, where I am. So bottom line is customer service is about win-win and don't talk about having customer service be quality customer service, show great customer service, act in um, a kind of a win-win scenario where you're providing value, but you're also staying within integrity of yourself and your business. That's Coffee Walk Talks for you here today. I'm hopefully gonna get out of the ghetto 
here real shortly and um, be on my way safe to home. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one, folks.